What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. I want to shout out to my homie, Kofi, from Kofi's Universe. Y'all make sure to subscribe to his channel and support everything he got going on because he be dropping that knowledge. Yeah! YouTube salute. So Fat Joe, he did a Zoom interview with Hip Hop DX, and he explained how important it is to practice inclusivity in the culture. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up that video, hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So this is what he said. I really believe in YOLO. You only live once. You only have one life to live. I just want to maximize everything artistically and creatively that I can while I'm here. And to leave a legacy long after I'm gone so people could still play my records, play my TV shows every day. So that's all I'm doing. I'm all about the culture. When I signed in growing up in the Bronx where hip hop was created, I was taught to love everybody. I was taught to like hip hop. It's almost a religion. It was almost diverse. It was always black, Latino, white, Asian, whatever. We were always taught to embrace everybody who loves hip hop music. And so I have an obligation to that. I have a responsibility to the culture that far exceeds financial gain or wealth. It's the wealth of the culture preserving the culture um he's right he's right because we have to educate the next generations you know it's the truth and he continues by saying do you call me some of the biggest rappers on earth they call me and say big homie could you give me some advice about this can you give me some advice i'm talking about the biggest I won't say no name, but imagine the biggest rappers on earth right now. They call me. They say, big homie, give me some advice on this and this. And I tell them, yo, move like this. Watch yourself, too. And that's what it's all about. And I want them to do the same when they become the OGs of the generation behind. You know what? I agree with him. I agree with him. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. A lot of people don't understand at the end of the day. It's more than just, you know, walking your path. Like, it's when you a child, when everybody was a child, right? Remember, our parents raised us. Some people come from single home families. Only your mama raised you. Your daddy raised you only. Maybe both of your parents. Maybe you come from foster homes, group homes, whatever. There was always some guardian over you. And then there was people outside of the guardians, like the teachers, the educators. Then you had people you met, maybe your uncles and aunties and grandparents and older cousins, maybe it was people in the gang, whatever. But there was always somebody teaching you something about life. And when he mentions hip hop is like a religion, I can see that because it's your investment. Anything in life you put your investment in is gonna be a religion. Some people put their investment in Christianity. Okay, that's fine. Some people put their investment into health, like me. I work out five times a week hard, crazy hard. My investment goes into my health. My investment goes into my businesses. My investment goes into my spirituality. Everybody has what they want to put their energy into. And there are some things that you can't do for money. Some people want to make so much money so bad. Like I see some, some of these people on YouTube, excuse me, not YouTube, on Instagram, Oh, if you want to have a sit down talk with me, that's going to be $2,000 for 10 minutes. I'm like, damn, is that right? Like, I mean, okay, that's your hustle and all, but I would never tell none of my friends that really need to talk to me and saying, yo, Kofi, I have a problem, brother. Can I talk to you about something? I'm going to give them my, my time. You know, I'm like, hey, man, let me not say squeeze you in, but if I'm busy, I'm busy. But like, yeah, I'll be available around this time, but I'll try to make available for the people I love. I think we get caught up of, I don't want to fuck with you no more. I don't have to do that. If you're helping somebody, make sure you do it from your heart. Don't do that shit to throw it in somebody's face. You know, it's like throwing sand in somebody's eyes. Why are you doing that? You know, you should have never did it in the first place. Everything I do, I want the next generation to be better than me. Everything. I tell my clients that. I tell the basketball players on the AAU traveling team I'm a part of. I want them to have bigger homes than me. I want them to have cars. I want them to have a family. I want them to have children. 
I want them to, you know, whatever they're doing in their life. Some of them might go to college and play basketball. Some of them might go to the NBA and play, but that's not their life. That's one chapter in their autobiography. So you understand what I'm saying? You're going to still do something afterwards. You don't have to ever come back and say, hey, Coach Kofi, here's, you know, thousand dollars like no nah, go ahead live your life man just be a better be a better mentor than me be a better better vanguard than me i care about stuff like that because there's things i try to give back to my father and my dad was like no i did that from my heart i was supposed to i'm your father you don't owe me nothing you don't and that still touches me to this day that my dad said that i have mentors right now some great godmothers i have you know some professors in undergraduate and graduate school that taught me so much and helped me put me in great positions when I got to the next level. Everything I was doing supported me. And even though I try to pay them, they're like, nope, we did that from the heart. So it's always there's money is good, wealth is good. I'm never gonna take that away. But there's some things money can't buy. Like Ralph Tresvin said, money can't buy you love, can't buy you happiness. Bro, money, soundtrack, y'all. <laughs> but um, no, you can't buy everything. And some things is priceless. Some things are priceless. So just be aware of that. And if you don't want to do it from your heart, don't do it at all. Because that's, that can cause problems in the long run with a lot of family ships, friendships, relationships. Post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.